I'm thinking you were made for me It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I got it Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Today's video, I am totally transforming this china hutch into something that looks amazing I am so happy with the way it turned out I'm totally into the farmhouse style, the whitewash furniture right now and I am transforming my entire living room into this kind of style, but I'm starting with this hutch. I've always wanted one. I'm so excited. I knew exactly what I wanted and with a little bit of help from my husband to put everything together, well, first take everything apart, then put everything back together, it turned out amazing. So stay tuned to the very end of this and you'll be able to see um, the transformation, how it looks, and I have a video coming up really soon after this one showing you how I transform my living room um, into farmhouse style and I'm also going to be decorating this hutch too with um, all of my Ray Dunn and um, farmhouse style kind of decorations so stay tuned for that. The first thing that we did whenever we got this in here is I took off all of the doors, all of the hardware, um, we took it completely apart. We took the back off. I wanted to do a different backing instead of the brown plain backing. So here you're seeing me take every single thing apart. Um, <clears throat> we're taking staples out. We just wanted a clean slate. That way we can transform this the style that we wanted. helpful tip that I have whenever you're wanting to do something like this this is a very old piece of furniture and I wanted to use the exact same hardware I didn't want to lose anything I marked everything that came off so I knew exactly where it goes whenever we put it back together so I took all these little baggies I wrote on the baggies what side like left side door right side door things like that and then I placed them all in that baggie so I knew exactly where they go and I didn't have pieces that were um, from the other side on one side. I just I wanted to make sure that all of the hardware went back to the same spot that it was before. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I want to clean everything really good. I'm using a product called TSP, I believe, and it's a product that will literally strip this piece of furniture of all the shininess if you know the people before me used um, old English or some kind of furniture polish it will get all of that stuff off I want my base to be completely clean and stripped from everything that is on there um, so whenever I paint it my paint will go on and it will stick really well So now I'm finally at the point where I am going to paint this. The paint color that I chose, it's called Snow Snow White, I believe. And what I'm doing here is I'm just putting on a thin first coat. So my first coat does not have to be perfect. I just want everything to be covered. It's best whenever you're working with a chalk paint like this um, to put thin layers on at a time. So by the time I got done with this, I ended up doing three layers and I, was I could have gotten away with two, but I didn't really like the way it looked. I feel I felt like it was still showing more. Um, I wanted it to be more white than what it was giving me. So the third coat ended up um, giving me the look that I wanted, the exact look that I wanted. So, and then after I painted it and it was all dry and everything, that's whenever I went through and I distressed it. And whenever I distressed it, I didn't do too heavy. I just went around the edges, anywhere where I was like, around the edges that were sticking out or the door um, on the door frames whenever like the arches and all that kind of stuff I just lightly put my little sand block that I had I just lightly sanded it and you go to a favorite tree are you ready now we jump on a plane now we're taking away yeah we're taking away if you are new to my channel and this is the first time you are watching one of my videos my name is Kelly welcome I do a lot of cleaning motivation on my channel, um, organizing. I have tons more videos coming up soon. I'm redoing my entire living room, so that's gonna be 
um, coming as well. If you like that sort of thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. Um, I am a full-time working parent as well. Me and my husband own our own business, so we're always busy with that. I am trying to figure out a good upload schedule for myself because this is my hobby, obviously. I love to do this. Um, it's super fun, and I want to be more active, so I'm trying to figure it all out by working and running our business and getting these kinds of videos in so you guys have some motivation to get things done around your house. I love watching videos like this and I also like to make them. So let me know if you're new. Say hi in the comments. This was probably the toughest part of this entire project was painting inside of this drawer door area. Um, my paintbrush was a specific paintbrush to use with this chalk paint and I could have used a smaller one but I didn't feel like switching and everything but it was such a pain trying to get my brush in there. Also if you hear my children in the background. <laughs> They're back there playing with their friends, playing video games or something, so. Now they want to be quiet. But anyway, um, yeah, that was the toughest part, was getting my brush in there because the handle was super long. Okay, so now I called my husband for reinforcements because I needed him to help me with this chicken wire. This chicken wire, ugh, ugh. I did not like working with it. It was very sharp. Um, and it was so hard to bend and get the way you needed it. So I definitely um, enlisted my husband into helping me here. But we finally got it on with his help, thank God. And this was the main door. And it had like, the, the way that the chicken wire was, it had this line that went down it. I guess how actual chicken wire is for, you know, if you're gonna use it for animals. So I had to go through and cut that line out of the center. And once I did that, then it had the look that I wanted. It didn't have, you know, it was just the straight chicken wire. I'll, I'll, if I can find something, I'll show you. Like, I'll insert something here. That way you can see. But, um, yeah, it, it was a pain to work with, but it looks so nice. I love it. I love the way it turned out. Can you picture me in the darkness? Kissing. So the backing that I chose to do instead of the original brown, I could have painted the original brown. It could have been white just like the rest of it, but I didn't want that look. I wanted a kind of wood grain look in the back, but I'm huge I'm huge on gray colors and light blues, things like that. So this is what I wanted to do. Um, I originally wanted to do the, wanted to do the individual um, like wooden planks, I guess, or the shiplap, like individual shiplap planks. But my husband came up with this idea. It also ended up being way cheaper than what I wanted to do originally. And it gives me the same exact look that I wanted. So that was awesome. And so all we did was um, we used the old backing and laid the backing up against this big sheet because it came in a big sheet. And my husband just outlined it and cut it. And then once he cut it, he um, put it up there with the staples that we had just shown you. Uh, they were very short staples and we ended up getting those and attaching the back to it that way. No Once we got the backing on, I was finally at the point that I could put it all back together. I didn't get a clip of me painting the hardware but what I because we did it at our business. But what I did was um, 
I put all the hardware attached it to this cardboard piece that you see right here. My husband and I just sprayed over him with, I think it was like a black hammered look, but it gave me the exact look that I was looking for. So once I got everything done and put together, this is what I ended up with. I, this is exactly what I wanted. It has the different elements that I like. It has the black hardware with the chicken wire, the metal, and the wood grain look in the very back. And it's very modern farmhouse. I, I love it. It's super great. I cannot wait to decorate it. That is in a video to come in the future here, hopefully in the next couple videos, you'll be able to see that. So if you're interested in all that, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I have coming in the future. They're going to be good ones. You're going to want to see it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.